Now, eight-year-old Jahari's sister and two cousins could not be saved from that lethal gas, but the Miami Valley has very unique technology that's much more effective at treating carbon monoxide poisoning than traditional methods. New this hour, Kelly May is here to show us how it works. Kelly. Well, Deborah, there's only two multi-person hyperbaric chambers in the state of Ohio. One of them is right here in the Miami Valley. It's faster and more effective at helping patients get better after being exposed to carbon monoxide. And this chamber can accompany 12 patients. Um, it's like walking into a, an airliner. At Kettering Health Network's Sycamore Hospital, Bruce Warren says that's what patients feel like during treatment in this hyperbaric chamber. We tell patients it's like taking an airplane, a flight in a plane. You feel pressure changes in your ears. Even though this one looks more like a submarine from the outside, here's how it works. If I was poisoned by carbon monoxide, coming into this chamber, putting this hood over my head, and in essence, being sunk 66 feet below sea level would increase the amount of oxygen that my vital organs like my heart, brain, and lungs would be getting. With carbon monoxide poisoning, it rinses the carbon monoxide off the red blood cells. When the door is shut, the pressure is increased like a submarine dropping below the ocean surface. By taking a patient 66 feet below sea level, we increase the partial pressure of oxygen that's absorbed into their bloodstream. There's enough oxygen being supplied to keep your brain and heart from being injured. The chamber can provide 15 times more oxygen circulation than just normal breathing and 10 times more oxygen than what a patient would get with an oxygen mask in a hospital bed. So Kettering has a 24-hour team to run it in case of emergencies. Patients that are poisoned with carbon monoxide, uh, the sooner you get them to hyperbaric treatment, the more uh, effective it is to save the, any injury to the brain or to the heart. Now for carbon monoxide poisoning, the treatment inside that chamber takes just three hours. We're working to find out why those three victims in Troy were not treated with this. Jack.